Hello, my name is Jim McGrain. I am working with the HSE on the Digital Transformation and Innovation Team and working alongside Cisco and Future Tech on a Clare Island uh, remote project. The idea behind the project came when um, the residents of Clare Island were engaged with NUIG and the Western Development Commission on uh, how they could use the enhanced connectivity they were getting from broadband for the lives of the island and the subject of health came up. So um, they reached out to us. Now on the digital transformation team, what we look at is we look at the use of emerging technologies to improve healthcare in Ireland. Um, and we look through a lens of stay left, shift left. And stay left, shift left means that um, stay left is that we keep well people well at home. And shift left means people that have to go to an acute setting, we try and move them back into the care of the community or the home as quickly as possible. So there was a kind of a natural fit with the people of Clare Island. There's 160 people on Clare Island. Some of them are quite elderly um, and healthcare can be quite challenging there. There isn't a resident doctor on the island. Uh, there's no pharmacy on the island. Um, there is a, a, a wonderful lady who, a doctor who visits from Clare, Ackle Island every Wednesday. And she has two nurses that are on the ground that are supporting her there. Um, but for the residents of the island, if they do have a condition that does become acute, it involves them having to travel from the island. And this can be by ferry or in the case of, say, this time of year when the ferries aren't running, they may need helicopter taken off the island. So the reaction from the islanders themselves has been fantastic, has really, really been positive. Uh, once they kind of were assured that this wasn't something that was going to be taken away from the current um, fantastic care that the, the doctor and her nurses give them. Um, they were really, really interested and really on board when we kind of told them some of the technologies that we are working with. It's going to help the resident doctor and the medical staff. They'll be able to um, draw on the expertise um, and the patient's will of um, consultants to virtual consultations. Um, we're looking to have um, virtual wards on the island whereby we will be able to give people the, practically the level of care that they could get in, in a hospital setting. So, um, and the fact that there is going to be reduced visits to the mainland is going to definitely help their patients. Um, since we actually won the final last October, we have been working with different uh, people with emerging technologies to try and determine what are the best technologies that are going to suit on the island. Um, one of the devices I'll just show you there that I'm uh, actually testing at myself is there. That is a, a vital signs monitoring device. And um, that is, is measuring my uh, respiration rate, my heart rate, my core temperature, um, the O2 levels in my blood, and there's also a false detection unit on it. So these kind of technologies we should be able to use to, to allow people to, to live at home and be looked after at home. Um, and also, um, when we do determine um, the actual conditions and we do a baseline analysis of the residents of the island, if there is any deterioration of conditions, we should be able to pick that up um, before it gets acute and before it requires any hospitalization. Um, in terms of challenges so far, um, I must say the there hasn't been, um, everybody's very welcoming, everybody's really, really uh, on board and wants to help with this. Um, bureaucracy, same as everything um, in terms of uh, legal memorandums of understanding and uh, legal, that takes a little bit longer than you, you, you would hope. But uh, I must say Cisco are an absolutely fantastic partner. Um, it's, it's, it's really, really great, the collaboration that they've done with us. They are absolute experts. They are on um, their technology uh, and on how to get things done. So we have been able to work uh, in parallel with the, as I say, the legal bureaucratic work has been going on. We've been working with Cisco on the communications aspect of things, on how to integrate the different technologies as well um, for um, getting signals back safely and securely to the mainland and um, to the teams that are going to be monitoring the residents. So it's, it's been very exciting so far. Um, we expect to have boots on the ground next month and to really, really start ramping up the engagement. And we look forward to um, giving you an update at that stage as to how we're getting on. So thanks very much.